That'll keep you happy for what an afternoon. It looks like chaos, but it is organized chaos. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Those that are new here, my name is Brad. I am Jazz. And together we are Tozzy Thrifters. We are full time resellers on eBay and a few other platforms. And we go out to thrift stores or op shops here in Australia and try and find items to resell on eBay. So we're actually about to head out to Savers now. Uh, we'll show you what we're picking up and we'll do a little bit more of a breakdown of why we're picking it up as well. So give you guys a little bit more idea of what we're looking for when we're out in the thrift stores and hopefully it helps you guys out when you're out there as well. Good morning guys, it is now Saturday. Just gonna do a quick flick through of the things we picked up yesterday. We got some good stuff at one of them and the second one we went to, we walked out empty handed, which very rarely happens, but that's the life of a reseller. So let's show you what we picked up. All right, the first one that we haven't drafted yet is this pair of Dragon jeans. We got them for $9.99, which is a very good price for Dragon. These will sell for sort of 75 up to about 100. Usually pretty quick sell through on Dragon as well, so very happy with that. We did get this Wrangler piece which we paid up for, $34.99. Obviously we had a little bit of discount, 20%. But the reason we grabbed this was because it was new with tags. So uh, normal retail is $139.95. I think we'll be able to get about $90 on that one. So nice little quick return on that. And then this here is a Star Wars blanket or doona. So I might actually throw up some photos of us taking photos of this because it is massive and very hard to show on camera. But I paid for $4.99 I think it was. Um, so I think being from 1997, we should make some good return on that one as well. Jazzy, you grabbed this Sportscraft 100% uh, silk shirt. Uh, the reason we grabbed that is obviously it's 100% silk. The pattern is really nice. And this costs $199 brand new. So we think we should be able to get sort of 59 out of that one. Very, very nice pattern. Then we come over to the listing station and we got a couple things here that I want to talk about. So we found another well-adjusted babies. Um, that is a very, very good hot book if you're out there keeping an eye out for well-adjusted babies. Um, that should sell for anywhere from about 65 up to 75. I also grabbed this Sony DVD recorder and it is like a HDD as well, which is great. Uh, so it's got a 320 gigabyte um, hard drive in it and it is RDR-HDC300. So I'll show you some comps on that pretty shortly. And we also picked up the Sony Dream Machine. Now, these were a lot hotter about a year ago, but I only paid $4 for this. So I'm pretty happy to get that. And we should be able to sell that for about 35. So just quickly with that Sony DVD player, there's actually only, I think one or two listed uh, that are working, so not for parts. And then there's two or three sold. So that means that the sell through rate on those is very good for that 90 day period. So if we list it at the correct price and do a really good quality listing, we should sell it within that 90 day period quite quickly. And if we undercut the market a little bit, we should be able to sell it very quickly. So those are the sort of items that you're looking for when you're talking about sell through rate. You're looking at how many are listed and how many have sold within a 90 day period. And that's gonna tell you exactly what the sell through rate is on that item. So we're just going to get some listing done today, make sure that we're all fired up and ready for next week. So we're going to get to that and we'll probably see you guys either Sunday or Monday morning. Catch you then. It's Monday morning and when Brad's finished his beauty routine, we'll be ready to take this all to the post office. So we're looking at 53 orders for Friday, Saturday and Sunday and our average sale price on those worked out to be $47.92. So October's looking up. Monday strikes again. We always have such good intentions on a Monday morning of getting heaps of work done, setting ourselves up for the week. But as we've kind of settled into our patterns with both of us working full time at home, I think we've realized that we're pretty puffed after Sunday shipping all of our weekend orders. And by Monday afternoon, we're pretty ready to have a relax. Luckily for us, that is when all of our favorite travel vloggers in the US, the UK and Canada all release their videos. So I think that we are just gonna accept that Monday afternoon is probably gonna be a time off time for us if we don't have anything in particular we need to go pick up. Probably just gonna kick back. 
Tuesday feels like more of a go get it day anyway. We'll see you Tuesday. It's Tuesday, feeling refreshed, ready to go, ready to crush today. But we've got to start off by finishing Monday's orders. We had some late night shoppers, which means that I start my day with packaging up the last of yesterday's orders because I do ship every business day. Just a personal preference because I think customers do like knowing that their stuff's going to be shipped quickly, but I also don't like it banking up. I need that like fresh slate, new everyday feeling. So I'm going to get these gone, get them to the post office so that I can do my Tuesday stuff. Now I haven't made it that easy on myself because I've been avoiding photographing the tricky things. I've been doing all the easy stuff first, which means today I've got console bundles. I've got vinyl that I need to take everyone out of its slipcover. And I've got boxes of Hot Wheels. We're selling them by the box, but I will need to take all of these out and lay them all out to photograph them and then put them back in. So... Yeah, I could have managed that better, but I'm ready for it. My worst procrastination technique is I love condensing and rearranging stock. So in our last picking video, we sold all of the pop vinyls that were in here. So I've turned it into like more of a little display for some of the collectible stuff. This is actually the door to our most used bathrooms. This is like a high traffic area. And I just think looking at all of our stock every day, it can be like a little bit draining mentally. So I would like to kind of make things a little bit more aesthetic because this is in our home. So yeah, it's nice to have some cool stuff on display. And this guy actually sold this morning. So he's coming straight back out and I'll find something else to replace in there so that I can look at something different. When it comes to storage and using custom SKUs to know where stuff is located, these actually don't have a custom SKU. I do keep the collectible stuff inside. I know it's in this area and I do like to move it around. So, so long as it's somewhere safe and I know where to look, it'll be all good. Having said that, I only do this with like miscellaneous hard good items that I look at every day. They are not going to get lost. I know that Super Mario is now up here. But for 99% of our items, we're utilizing the custom SKU, which is right down the bottom of item specifics. If you are just starting out selling on eBay, this is probably the most important thing that you can do. So we use our custom SKU to track our cost of goods and also the location. So as soon as this sells, we know exactly where to go and look for it. And our customer cannot see that information. Now, if I've done my job correctly, when that hat sells, I should know to come straight to C3 and it will be stored somewhere in this box. Beautiful, and that is how we track where each of our items is stored so that we can have thousands of items on hand and know exactly where they all are. So today was gonna be a pretty relaxed day in terms of we're just gonna do some listing and get some stuff up, but we actually got a message on Instagram from someone locally who has some stuff for us. So we're gonna head there now, take you guys along with us. I think we're gonna be able to get a little bit of footage inside, which should be awesome, and uh, we'll show you what we pick up. I think the best part about this one is not that far from our house so we just have a quick drive out grab the stuff head back home and we can get back to listing oh nice oh. Oh, wow. shoes are in good condition man yeah yeah i've been a bit of freaky shoes <laughs> <laughs> i'm terrible like yeah. i could clean that but will i yeah <laughs> yeah the pokemon cards was um i sort of just found a bunch of them and then the ones in the folder, my brother bought some of the, um, I forgot what the pack was called, some of the recent ones, the Shining Fate. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was actually listing some this morning. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we yeah. bought a few packs just hoping for some good ones, just a bit of fun. I remember just giving away all of my Pokemon cards in the 90s to yeah, my cousin. Yeah. I was like, here you go, have a huge stack yeah, of them. Yeah. Yeah, we still have a ton of toys which we're still holding on to. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I've been looking at them and all got like the tags and 1999 stuff. And oh, that's sick. Yeah. Man. We've also got all these boxes at the back with these stickers on it. And they just have to be worth so much if we didn't stick them. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, all that Pokemon stickers and stuff. Oh. Um, and, and you just you think, that looks cool, slap them all on. And... Yeah. Yeah, I think we're all good, man. That'll keep you happy for, what, an afternoon? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Well, that was definitely worth the stop off. Really cool guy. And he actually sells like bikes and stuff on Facebook Marketplace. So it was very cool to sort of learn a little bit about um, that end of the game. It's not something we know anything about, but 
um, very cool to meet you. So thanks for reaching out. We ended up getting all that stuff for like $200. Yeah, that's super reasonable. So we got five pairs of jeans, nine pairs of shoes that are all in very, very good condition. Some Pokemon cards, a few games, which is nice. And he actually threw in a 450 Dymo for us, which is great for the, like the normal postage labels, not the six by fours, but yeah, I think for $200, we'll do quite well out of that lot. So thanks heaps for reaching out to us. And um, we hope to catch up with you again soon. So we're actually gonna head home now. We'll draft up some of that stuff we just picked up. I think we're gonna do quite well on it in the end. $200 was very fair. So I think we'll make some good money out of it. We've actually done most of our drafts and listings for today. Uh, so these will probably be banked up for tomorrow, which is great, get ahead a little bit. It's always nice to do that. Um, if we sell any of this stuff in this episode, we'll let you know. Otherwise, we'll try and give you a little bit of an update in one of, one of our next spots sold. Let's head home now. All right, I'm just gonna run through really quickly what we just picked up and give you an idea of what we think we're gonna be able to sell it for. I have comped some of these things. Some of the other things will just be when we get to comping them, but I'll give you an idea anyway. So as I said, $200 paid all up. Uh, we did get the label rider for 50 for free. Those are going for about $55. So that's a nice little extra on top. These little Brooks here, I could only find one comp of these. They are called the Brooks T7. Uh, one of these is sold for $55. So I'm gonna say, let's say 45 on those. Um, these are in very good condition, so happy with that. Uh, we've got this pair of Asics Gel Stratus, not a style that we would usually pick up, but these look like they're gonna be about 40, 45, so that's good. A nice pair of knife wedges, and he's kept them all in plastic bags, so that definitely helps it. And we've actually sold some of these Nike wedges before for like between 50 and 80 bucks. So let's say $50 on those, add them low end. A really nice pair of Merrells, um, some women's, they're a smaller size, I think they're, actually they're a nine, which is great. So probably 50 bucks on those as well. So we're pretty much breaking even at this point without everything else. We come down here to another pair of Asics. These are just the Gel 1000s. Um, very good condition once again, but probably like a 35 to $40 price point. So not huge on those, but they will sell nicely. Just a quick look at these. Um, these are New Balance. Um, Fresh foams, I don't know the style exactly, but I had a quick look at these and I think we should be at 40 to 50 on those as well. Uh, we've sold a couple pairs of New Balance Terrain All Train shoes before. These are in very good condition as well. You can see on the soles there. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. But again, I think we should be able to get sort of 45, maybe 50, maybe a little bit more on these because they are in very, very good condition. Some little bit of dirt, but that'll clean off very quickly. Uh, what else do we have here? We've got a pair of Adidas. I haven't comped these out, um, but even if we say we've got 40 on those, I think that's a pretty fair price point. And the last pair of shoes is this other pair of New Balance right here. Uh, I haven't comped these ones either. I might try and comp them for a little, uh, they're called VAZ Pace. So I might put a little comp up on the screen. Again, these are all in you know, very good condition. So. Even if we got sort of 35, 40 on those, I think we'd be pretty happy. Uh, we've got a couple games here. Uh, Mario Sonic Olympics. I did comp the Brawl. Probably looking about $24 on that one. Not sure on that one, but I'm assuming 15. Uh, we've got some loose Pokemon cards. There's probably not a heap of value in these, um, unless they are from some of the older sets. I did notice that some of them did seem to be a little bit older. Not sort of 90s or anything, but um, mid, mid 2000s. That one's evolution set. Uh, more evolution set, loose like that, they're probably not gonna be worth much money, but you know. Uh, a couple games, which is always nice. Um, we've got ourselves a little Simpsons Road Rage. We've got the Wild Thorn Breeze and Trolls. We'll probably end up selling them as a set. I don't know if Road Rage is worth a lot um, on Advanced, but uh, that does okay on some other platforms. So we might try and sell them for 20 to $30 as a set couple uh, Game Boy games, Golf, uh, that one looks F1, and Casper. Again, we'll probably lock them up. I don't think there's going to be a huge amount of value in that, but I will comp them out just to make sure. The Golf might be okay, being, looks like Mario. And then we just got a little Crash game for DS. She forgot these jeans, so RM Williams, nice pair there. They are men's, 32, 32, so that's actually a good size. They'll probably go for 45, 50. Nice pair of Carhartts should go for the same sort of range. Carhartt do very well for us. They don't last long at all. Wrangler a little bit slower. You're probably looking about 35 to 40 on those. And a couple pair of Levi's. So 503 should sell pretty well for about 40. And two pairs of 568s, I believe. 
Oh no, that's 506, that's as good as well. And 568, maybe 35. Today is Thursday and we have a pretty big day ahead. Yesterday we spent most of the day just getting our listings up, getting ready for another deal. So I have another deal to go pick up today, but we'll show you that in the next episode. So thanks for joining us today and we will see you next week on Torsi Thrifters. Bye for now. Bye. Well, that was definitely worth the stop off. Yeah, he was a really nice guy. Yeah, and he uh, actually sells like, um... Tuesday feel like 